Hey, and welcome to a Chicago Beer Pass beer review. And we're going grape, grape ape here. Grape ape. Dark Lloyd Wright. Look at that. That's pretty cool. This can is amazing from Sawmouth. Yeah? I picked up this beer. Pur purple's my jam. I picked up this beer at the beginning of the pandemic. Because, look, it says March. It was canned on the 21st of March okay. in 2020. I've been sitting on it because I've been saving it for us to drink on the show. And then we just kept drinking other things. And this kept getting pushed back and back farther in the stack of beers I have. So I'm excited to finally dive into this beer. Yeah. Nelson Sauvin and Halotel Blanc. Now, Nelson Sauvin is the uh, from Down Under. Right. The yeah. New Zealand one? Yeah, which has like... A, I think it has wine-like qualities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'll This is a it. hazy IPA with Pinot Noir. Yeah, which is uh, an actual wine. So it being almost a year now, I feel like it's a... may not be as, like, dank and juicy as it could have been or should have been, but... This is going to be a testament to baby how great Salamos is with their beers because it test your could, yeah it could be it could be amazing. We just drank uh, Juice Island from Alarmist slash Goose Island, which was super fresh. Yeah, and it's a similar style. Well, it was a uh, I think it was a pale ale with like wine grapes added. Okay. Yeah. So. So, uh, this has Juice Island looked gross. This uh, has your haze uh, color <laughs> that you expect. Like, uh, you know, it left something to be desired for sure. Yeah, this has that <laughs> orange juice. Uh, this has more, it's a more lighter. inviting tone. Yeah. We talked about those those photos where you kind of amp some of the colors on them, yeah. right? It, it, has, it has a very picturesque color. You're not amping color. the colors of <laughs> Juice Island. So. <laughs> I try to walk the other way, and Brad's like, no, 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 what about that thing we saw? <laughs> Uh, but I feel like the the aromatics of this, the that grapey Pinot Noir yeah. aroma is kind of coming through. It, yeah, it's a sharper where it's like you're getting you know the branch and the soil of the yeah, fucking grape it, too, right? Yeah, it's like this, <laughs> this <laughs> wood and grape mixed together. <laughs> that. But it's also, it, but it, it, to be fair, it's also an IPA, right, compared to the other one. Right. Yeah, and it, is it like six and a half? Did I see that correctly? I'm a big uh, fan of this head too, man. That kind of like creamy white head. I know, and that's that, pretty it's good a, after like eight months. Looks nice, man. Yeah. I'm going to dive in here. Ooh, okay. There, there's something missing. <laughs> there and that could definitely be the age because i'm <clears throat> maybe it's my i'm drinking this english bitter where it it starts it starts off very well but then it something about it just feels although it doesn't look it's well carbonated yeah it just kind of feels flat right yeah that's why <laughs> like i was like there's something missing like what <laughs> like, it I like it stops right it in the sto middle. it's just like <laughs> The record skipped. I don't know. What? What is happening here? Huh. Maybe that's how it maybe that's how it was designed. Yeah. But I understand exactly what you're saying. Like hollow's not the right word because the aromatics mm. are, are spot on. It's kinda like this kind of funky grape musk fucking, yeah. you know sharp wine component yeah you know maybe it, maybe we're expecting then, more beer and it's drinking like a a a beer that should be a wine it was drinking you know i guess it's drinking more like a beer cocktail right yeah then maybe that's maybe that's what we're trying to say so it's not it's not hollow or missing flavor it's just that there's a texture here that it's kind of betrays you a little bit. Damn, I'm, I'm using all the words I don't want to use, so this is a good exercise. Yeah. But it's using it's it's it has a profile that isn't typical of a hazy. Right. A hazy is a little more dense on the on the well, tongue yeah, it, on the it, on the texture. It's that Pinot Noir juice. It says. 
and it is giving it that that flavor and it's also bringing out your brain thinks those woody wine qualities that you expect so it's not a hazy beer it's a I think a beer cocktail is way more appropriate. Yeah. I mean, it's hazy in the sense that, you know, it's not clear, like um, whatever we had from Half Acre recently. Uh, yeah. It's not it's not clear. And I actually really enjoyed looking at this beer. And after a few more sips, I'm, I'm like digging it more. I think I was thrown back drinking it. I was kind of like, I was expecting... I was expecting a hazy that tasted like uh, grape juice in my head. Like I was expecting la juice with grape juice. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah. But instead you're getting a hazy that's got some heavy kind of wine barrel character. And then also Without actually. Being barrel aged. Yeah. It actually continues to kind of be reminiscent of wine. A wine beer hybrid. It's reminiscent mm. of that, yeah. I mean, those aren't two things you'd really put together necessarily, but yeah. it has elements of those. Like the texture of it is is t- kind of takes it out of the hazy category texture wise. Yeah, I wonder if we're if we're losing something eight months in, or if this is what it tasted like. And also that we're drinking a hazy IPA. You know, if this were on the shelf, I think they take it what uh, 60, 120 days. Yeah. 120 days and it's off the shelf so uh, it if you were uh if you have family members that are wine drinkers and you're like hey you want to try to like get them to drink beer this is a good kind of like hybrid here oh dude if i'm a bottle in on like a fucking you know cab or pain on the if i'm two bottles in on that and this comes out this keeps the party going right yeah at a, during the holidays yeah mm-hmm. okay so that's fun. I do. It did come in four packs, so I have like a few of these now, which yeah. I'm not like I'm not like amped up to drink them, but I do find it like an interesting beer, and I love the like can design of it. Unpasteurized, keep cold, drink fresh, and then um you know cheers to uh, Frank Lloyd Wright, you know Chicago legend. The word legend's overused, but you know he was a founder <laughs> of like the Chicago School of Architecture. This looks like it might be like the Roby House down in Hyde Park, you know his whole idea of incorporating, you know, natural light and fucking wood and brick and, you know, in his designs. Yeah. You know, influenced a lot of uh, architects around the world, so. Uh, That's cool to see Salomo. They've been doing these, like, uh, uh, interesting beers. They did that uh, one with Tamale Guy. Yep. And so they're not always hitting the, like, mark for uh, us, but they are, like, super interesting and i think pushing what beer should be forward they're one of the suburban crews that we we seem to drink a lot and yeah they are very adventurous crew yeah yeah so and i I love that about them too okay all right we're gonna keep sipping on this and dive into some other stuff take care cheers